What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles. Today I want to talk about the underrated underdog that is the IHG Rewards One program. And specifically, we are going to talk about the Ambassador program. I recently signed up for this program. Today I want to go over it, discuss it, and see whether it actually makes any sense for any of us. My initial thoughts were no. It probably doesn't make sense for me, but then I figured I travel, I have a YouTube channel that includes these travel programs, so I purchased the program and booked a reservation. So I guess you could say this is a part one of is Ambassador worth it? So if you are a fan of IHG hotels and resorts or of just hotel programs in general, grab a cold one and strap in and let's learn a little something about IHG's Ambassador program. First off, I do have a complete guide to IHG's Status Elite program and I will link that video in the description below. But today I wanna really focus on this sort of extra tier of status because for one, I really like IHG One Rewards program. And I also like how this program and this topic isn't really discussed in depth in our community. So let's check it out. Let's quickly get some background here. IHG stands for Intercontinental Hotels Group. This company's roots can be traced to a brewing company way back in 1777. But the company has existed in its current form since right around 2003. IHG is home to some of the more well-known budget-friendly hotels like Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, and Staybridge Suites. But they also have a few premium properties such as Crown Plaza, and then there are the luxury properties such as the Kempton and the Indigo Hotel. Today we're gonna to focus mainly on the flagship property called Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts, which I think there are right around 208 worldwide. IHG has over 6,000 properties, so it's not tough to find a situation where one might make sense. Since diving into IHG, I have stayed a night at a Holiday Inn, and my wife took my son down to Orlando and stayed at a Holiday Inn resort that had what my son called the coolest bunk beds ever. Both trips, we can honestly say that the staff was the highlight. Very nice, very helpful staff at both properties, and remember, these are budget stays. I also want to add that even though it's not the focus of today's video, Chase Bank issues a couple really good IHG cards on both the business and the consumer side of things. If you're interested in these cards, hotel cards, or really any good credit cards in general, check out my super organized card link in the description below. Using my link really supports the channel and it allows me to upload mostly sponsor free content because I know that's what you guys prefer. Back to it. Intercontinental Ambassador is a program that offers extra benefits at Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts properties worldwide, and it appears to have quite a bit of bang for the buck, so to speak. Since this program is only applicable to a select number of properties, it's rather limiting and probably has a smaller interest group, but I think it's worth a look if you are planning any higher end stays within the next year. I even think the program is worth it for just one stay. We'll talk about that later. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of the program, let's be sure to understand that this is a pay to play situation. I personally like the fact that there aren't a ton of requirements or requisites. Just pay 200 bucks or 40,000 IHG points and you're in the program. To compare the cash versus points price, let's first understand that we can oftentimes purchase IHG points for half a penny each. So these two prices are essentially the same. I recently purchased 200,000 IHG points. So today when I purchased my ambassador, I used the points. I'm sitting on a surplus of IHG points at the moment, so it made sense. You can join online or by calling the number on the website. Benefits start moments after you purchase the program and that is $200 per year. So 365 days of benefits. Let's talk about what we can get for that kind of money. Guaranteed one category room upgrade. This is something I'm very curious about. We've all heard about some of these programs like Hilton, for example, that claim an upgrade and sometimes they really leave you wondering, is the third floor an upgrade from the second floor? So I'll be happy to report my experience on this. Guaranteed late 4 p.m. checkout. Can't tell you how underrated this is. If you're a short tripper like me, you know the late afternoon flight and a late checkout can give you an extra day at the beach or the pool. I love me some late 4 p.m. checkout. And this one says guaranteed. Complimentary weekend night. I will talk about the booking I made today, but this part kind of confused me. First of all, this night is good for one year. The terms and conditions state it will not be extended. 
Pro tip, nieces and nephews, any free night I get, I try to schedule as quickly as possible. There is nothing good about trying to scramble at the last minute to use a free night. Example for me is, I just earned a free night award from Hyatt. I wouldn't normally stay at very many category one through four properties, but as soon as I got it, I scheduled my Hyatt-centric stay in New Orleans next Labor Day for the second annual Points and Miles Meetup. Back to IHG. If you purchase this program, I would have a booking in mind and I would go ahead and schedule it as soon as you buy the program. Also, your upgrade will be awarded at check-in, but it may be possible to see in your app prior to arrival. Also important is this free night is part of a two night minimum paid reservation. So you can't add it to an award night. Let me give you an example of how this is redeemed. The award will appear in your account, so you'll click on the award night and schedule your booking. Let's say you're spending three nights at the Intercontinental in Tokyo. You'll book three paid nights. When you get to the hotel and present your ID and your credit card, then the free night will be credited to the bill. A little strange, but I guess this keeps folks from booking rooms for other people. There doesn't seem to be a cap on how much this certificate is worth, which now that I think about it, I probably didn't use mine strategically, but hey, I'm out here doing the research to even see if it's a good product first. You will also be upgraded to Platinum Elite status. Just watch my complete guide to IHG rewards program for the details on that. You'll receive a restaurant and bar credit of $20 a day. This will be credited upon checkout. You receive the highest speed internet access, which apparently some hotels are still charging for internet access, but hopefully this means you have a good, strong connection, even when in some lesser developed countries. Free water. I always say, hey, don't sleep on that free water, especially when you show up super tired. You'll get a dedicated check-in area. I know most of us will say that's silly, but I'll fight back a little bit on that. I think it's the coolest thing ever when I go to a hotel or a resort and I don't have to check in with the normal people. If you're thinking about becoming an ambassador, you're probably one of those people that want to be treated well and maybe even treated a little special. I like this benefit. You also get the single room rate even when you're booking double occupancy. This isn't something I've ever looked into, but if it saves me a few bucks, then that's great. And finally, if you are staying on mainland China, you'll get one free breakfast each night you stay. I've been using the Chase IHG business card for a couple months now, and I really wanna give the program a chance for a lot of reasons. So today I joined the ambassador program and I booked to stay. I have to be a little vague on this booking because I changed the hotel for my trip with my father for next month. He doesn't know where we're going, so I had to be careful to keep this a little secret. He doesn't watch my channel, but you can never be too sure. As soon as the free night hit my account, I booked the stay. I booked four nights and I booked a room just below club lounge level rooms. So I'll definitely know if the upgrade is worth it. The reservation for now shows each night's price, which for me is just over $220. So you can look at that two different ways. One, Luke, you're stupid. You only got $220 value out of that room and the program costs $200. You should have booked a $1,200 room. Okay, yeah, you're right. Or at least you might be right because your uncle Luke is not booking any $1,200 rooms with cash. I don't think my dad would even be comfortable staying in a place like that. The way I see it, I wanted to stay at this property and I wanted to pay cash, so I found a way to get into the ambassador program for just about even money. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't holding on to a free night waiting to find that perfect redemption. Earn and burn. Quick reminder that if you want more information on any rewards cards, check out my link in the description. And also, the holidays are quickly approaching. You should be using a retail shopping portal for your holiday shopping. I use Ragaton. Ragaton is a cashback retail shopping portal that will also allow you to earn Amex MR points in lieu of cashback, making them much more valuable, at least in my opinion. Use my link and you can get 30 to $40 or three to 4,000 MR points back on your very first purchase. Guys, in the comments below, if you have been an IHG status member, please tell me about your experience. And if you are an ambassador, I would love to hear how it's worked out for you. As always, guys, if you've stayed around all the way to the end, I appreciate you and thank you.